What's going on guys and welcome to JavaScript tutorial. Now before we start covering actually variables and functions and for loops and while loops and all that interesting stuff in JavaScript, I just want to show you the two commands that we're going to be using and I just want you to get familiar with them. So the first command is going to be alert and basically what it is, it's an alert box that would display on a screen. You know, it's one of those annoying pop-up boxes. So I would write over here what I would want on a screen. So I would write over here, hello. And in later videos, you'll see how we can manipulate the box. So we want actually, so we could get a variable on the screen or function or any kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is save right now here and refresh. And you can see that I have a, an alert box. And another command that we're going to be using a lot is going to be actually prompt. But the difference with prompt is that we're going to have to assign it to the variable. Now, we haven't covered the variables yet, so don't worry about it. I'm just showing you for the future videos. And over here, you can see the prompt. And it works the same way. However, this a, uh, asked a question with a dialog box. And the reason why we assign it to variable because we want to store this value. But again, don't worry about it right now. So what we write here is here, what, uh, what is your name? And I'm going to put a semicolon here and I'll save it and let's refresh. And now we have the first alert box that says hello. And the second one is the prompt box that says what's your name. And right now we're going to save, we're going to write Johnny, but nothing is going to happen because we haven't learned any of the stuff, how we can manipulate with the variables. But what I'm trying to show you is that, that these are going to be two commands, the alert and prompt that we're going to be using a lot, including the ones that we already previously covered, which was document write, which would display a content on actual web page. So let's say if I would write hello over here and also console log that would actually show our output, our input, I'm sorry, in the console. So let's say world over here, but we're not going to see it unless we go to the console. So these are the four major commands that we're going to be using throughout this tutorial. And I just want to get you familiar with them. 